All right, I've been documenting the build of the car, and now uh, everything's gone pretty good, but we are having a problem. So this here is a screen for the HP tuners. Uh, I changed nothing on the car. I just took the, the whole engine wiring harness, out. well, you saw, I took everything off. And I didn't even unplug any sensors or anything. All, all I did was just pull the motor out, and I left everything hooked up except the battery, of course. And now I'm getting some weird, okay, so right here you see this fuel system number one status. That's showing a weird thing that it wasn't doing before. And also fuel pressure, SAE, that is the fuel pressure uh, between the fuel tank and the engine. This 824 PSI, that's in the fuel rail, that's after the mechanical pump. This engine uses an electric pump to get the fuel from the fuel tank to the engine and then that's where a mechanical pump takes over and it will pump up to uh, 2500 PSI. So this is where I'm at right now and I cannot figure out that problem there. So I'll start the car now and you will see what's going on there. Okay, so you can see this says OL not ready, that means open loop, and if I, uh, I'll highlight it, OL not ready, and if I step on the gas, so it shows CL fault. And that's a closed loop fault. So it goes open loop not ready to closed loop fault. And I'll go up here a little bit. Uh, where is it now? Yeah, so anyways, that's the problem. That's a problem. I don't know what's causing it. Let's see here. I cleared all my DTC codes. Let's see if I got some new ones. And... Well, it's not reading any codes. I don't know why that is. That seems weird. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways... Uh, you can see that I moved the battery. I had it here, right in front of the rear wheel. I moved it. I moved it over to right there. So I got a new battery box. I also ran new cables. I have a cable going from, like this really big red one here is going, that's the power to the uh, main, the big on off switch there uh, below the dash. And I have a ground running from the battery to the engine. I have another ground running from the battery to the frame that is right there. And I have another one going from the frame to the uh, engine itself. Plus I have, where is it here? This little ground strap going from the head there all the way to where I have sort of a, a whole bunch of grounds right there. So I think I've covered all the grounds and I don't know what to uh, I don't know what to make of this uh, fault code. This is my this is my uh, fuel pressure sensor right there and it's brand new and it was working 100% before I pulled this whole engine out and um, I checked the connections I checked these connections at the ECM and they are all 100% hooked into the ECM so it's a mystery to me what's going on there. I've ordered another one of these, they're not expensive, so I ordered another one just in case. But still, it's really weird how it was working before and now it's not working, but anyways. Alright, well, that's where I'm at. I'm going to load a different tune into the engine. Uh, it's pretty easy doing that. Well, actually, I can show you here how easy it is. Now I'm going to open uh, 
competitor. So this is HP Tuner's editor. And, okay, so I already made a tune that gets rid of the DTCs, and I did that here with Engine Diagnostics. So here is all the possible codes that the engine can throw. So I unchecked the ones that I, I don't want it to throw anymore. And now I just have to click on, you can see that, up, up here. I just click on load two and right. Okay, I switched the car to an older tune and now you can see that we have fuel pressure and the fuel system status is normal. So, there's a problem with the tune. It was all in the tune. However, you'll also notice that now this is showing 158 miles an hour all the time. Clearly that's not right. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out that I have a software, not a hardware issue. When I put an older tune in, uh, an older operating system on my computer, then the fuel all showed up normal and I had proper pressure and all the systems and no faults and all that was great. But as soon as I lo load the new operating system, which has the ability to have the vehicle speed sensor, because that was a problem with the old one, is the vehicle speed sensor didn't work and it was showing 158 miles an hour all the time. So um, anyways, so when I load the new one, that all is fine and the vehicle speed sensor works, but then it's not showing um, fuel pressure, or at least not in that, from that sensor, which is very strange. And it's also not showing the percentage of alcohol, and I have a flexi fuel sensor in there, and it doesn't show that either. So what I did was I am able to, with HP tuners, I'm able to compare the two files and make changes. So I compared them, I made the changes from the older one to the newer one, loaded it all back into the engine, and it still does not show that fuel pressure sensor and is still not showing uh, the flexi fuel sensor. So I'm still getting that open loop and closed loop fault. All right, so, um, well anyways, it it's good actually, it's a good news, because now we know what the problem is. We know it's a software issue, not a hardware issue, because I was beating my brains out trying to find a uh, broken wire or uh, a ground that wasn't right or whatever. So I'm pretty happy about that. It was, uh, it was a success to find the problem, even though the problem technically isn't solved yet. Uh, it, it, it was good to find that problem. So anyways, uh, that's where I'm at. And um, I guess I have one more day to figure this out because I'm going on a, a little vacation. So there'll be a little bit of time away. Anyways, see you soon or talk to you later.